All right, so today we're going to be review, reviewing this Maritsu, uh, what is it, a, uh, the Maritsu Triple is a high fermentation Abbey beer brewed in accordance with the Benedictine tradition of the community of Maritsu Abbey. The beer is re-fermented in the bottle. Um, blah, blah, blah. Contains Marley Balt, which I would hope so. It's a beer, so. Triple. Uh, this is pretty going to be pretty strong. 10% alcohol, as we can see. So it's basically like two beers. Uh, very special. Yeah, very good stuff. Um, and let's do it. You're supposed to put in some fancy glass, but I don't have that. I just have the usual tumbler. So what we're going to do is open it. And uh, let's pour it. Let's pour it kind of slowly. Let's see what happens. So there's lots of head, even though we were not actually pouring it that crazy. Hmm. Hmm. It's very good. Yes. Nice and strong. I mean, it has that just, you know, I've had this before. I've had these kind of things. This is what I like. It's a nice, strong beer. It's a sipping beer, a slow sipping beer. You don't want to just drink this like water because it's pretty heavy. The foam is really nice. It kind of stays there. The color is, it's kind of like yesterday's, whatever we had yesterday. It's, it's very see-through orange. Um, this is just classy. Very, very classy stuff. It's just, it's got, I don't know, it's very difficult. It's its a full body, full taste, or whatever you want to call it. It's yesterday's beer, whatever it was. Um, I don't really remember. I remember it was a bit watery, which is fine. Sometimes it's good to have those. Okay. But this is a nice, full flavor. You definitely can feel the alcohol. You can feel the taste. Not There's nothing overwhelming about it. This is just beer. It's good. Let me taste just the, um, you have a little bit of carbonation left. It doesn't go flat, so that's even good, too. It has a little bit of carbonation even once. You can see the bubbles still kind of perking up, I think. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see the, the, the uh, bubbles continuing, so it's like just perfect. I don't want to drink too much of it because I'm going to have steak as usual, but um, I actually don't want to drink this before and, and all that, and I haven't, I don't have the steak ready yet. But let's see what the beer snobs have to say. This is going to be like a perfect beer. I agree with them, actually. This is really, ooh, I don't get my hand in to get the mouse. Uh, let's see. Beer, advocate, and triple. Now, this is actually expiring the best bite. It, I don't know how long it's been on the shelf, but it is saying best before end, 1223. Um, so I don't know how long it's been on the shelf. It tastes pretty good. I don't taste anything weird about it. Okay, so this is, uh, this is, no, come on. They're not rating it as exceptional. It's only an 88. It's very good. No, 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 this is exceptional. I'm sorry, this is exceptional. This is exceptional. I'm very sorry about this. I'm going to have to disagree. So let's look at the lowest and the highest. So 352 is the lowest. Uh, let's see, 352. Okay, 352 is the lowest. So we will 330 milliliter bottle poured in that Le Trap Chalice. Chalice, I think Chalice would be a, another way of pronouncing it. Again, I have a 16 ounce tumbler. I've had this since the last house, right? This 2009 or something. Most of these broke over the years. I have two left, so. If it's a bigger beer, I put it in my pickle jar. Um, if it's a 12 ounce, I put it in the tumbler, okay? No chalice for me. At around seven degrees, so this is also some European person. So they're probably saying centigrade. Opens with a bit of smoke. I don't know what that means. Quite a vivid beer. Good two-finger white head. Now, the, the head retention uh, is still here. Notice the head retention after how many minutes. It's very good. Ah, uh, right. 
dissolving, yeah, uh, yeah, dissolving slowly the head. High carbonation, small bubble, lovely amber orange color. Sm a smell, pecan nuts, caramel, and a little bit of dirty yeast. Is it yeasty? If you tell me, maybe I don't know. Mouth feel, yes, creamy, yes, a bit too bitter in the mid tones and way too sweet in the. End. No, it's it's not too. Come on. Too bitter in the mid-tones? What the fuck is this? A symphony? It's not too bitter. This guy's a liar. Way too sweet. It's it's sweet enough in the aftertaste, so that's fine. Taste is a bit disappointing. Bitter almond, too much gloku syrup in this beer to be top-notch. So it's too sweet for this guy. Again, I, I think the fact that it's a kind of higher alcohol and it still manages to be not syrupy. It's not syrupy. It manages to kind of offset the alcohol just enough. The sweetness is just perfect. So this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Now there was a five out of five rating here. I think it does have some written review. Perfect strong triple. Triple love the color of gold aroma of honey and caramel and flavor of soothing hot honey water with bitter touch of mint at the end. Love it. Again, it's a run on mess, uh, but it's it's a, a run on mess of, of, of love and joy, I guess. It's perfect for Ivan Brew 1 Beer Garden. I don't know. Ivan Reviewed by Ivan Brew. Okay, so that's the guy. Well, I were in agreement. I would be a little more literate about it. Probably use some more punctuation. A few more commas in there, but uh, we both agree. It's really good. So, uh, I guess that's it. And, uh, yeah, this is a great beer. Uh, if you... I would actually recommend... This would be on my list of... I don't know if I have a list, but this would be on it. You know, if I didn't have this job of reviewing every beer, I would buy a lot of these. This would be a go-to nice beer. Indeed.